Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode here in Forza Horizon 5. I hope you guys do like my vehicle. It's one of our special legendary barn finds that we got last episode. We had a uh, almost like a podcast style of an episode last one because there was just so much time that we spent racing we beat the colossus which was a 34 mile sprint race and then we also had the goliath that was a 34 35 mile loop around mexico so today we are going to be switching it up a little bit with pr stunts we're going to be doing some absolutely crazy shit hopefully and this is the uh the first order of business so i don't know exactly what all we're gonna have but i'm very interested to see how this one's gonna be i'm hoping that this is gonna be a so very stark difference from what we're used to where are you Running late. Sorry. Things are a little wild with the Fiesta de la Luna coming up. Wait. The moon wait. party? What's the Fiesta de la Luna? Party of the moon? It's a full moon tonight, it's my full friend. Moon. Okay. Horizon's throwing an all-night fiesta at the Ooh. resort. I thought you and I could attend. Rager! Well, I do like a good party. Hey. You know that man bun <laughs> likes you to bob to some songs? Nos vemos pronto! Got a little Porsche 911 Carrera. Mmm. Drive the Fiesta de la Luna. Okay, if you, if you I will. Sorry, I'm late. Do your heart to catch. Wait, That's a nice car, what man. Just following the plane. I think I'm close. Follow the plane. It's like a big ass cargo plane that is clearly, clearly going way too low for regulation. Somebody needs to get that guy's pilot light license revoked. You're not gonna pin me in here. Look at that. You thought. Is that a full moon party? People celebrate the glory of the moon, of course. There's fireworks and there's music and dancing until the sun comes up. Oh, oh shit. The moon shows us her most Sorry. Beautiful Thanks for pushing me forward. Radio Eterna is flying into Playa Azul. Oh, look how cool this is. Now we got the helicopter Don't above us. us. This is sick. This is really cool. And a completely different kind of vibe than what we've been morning, been used to in this game. To the canyons to find a stunt outpost. But tonight, <laughs> what the Luna. hell is this? Explore the party, my friend. Have fun. We're driving this thing. Half these people came for the fiesta. Nah. The other half came just to we are. You. Hello, my party people. Hey. hey. I'll bring the big star. What the hell are we doing? We gotta drive through the parade. I just want to get through this. I mean, these people look like they're having a good time. What's our drink of choice out there? We're thinking. Entertaining a crowd, but just in case, I rigged up some pyrotechnics for you. Oh, let that shit fly then. You got some fireworks? Make that thing go boom, boom, baby. Boom. <laughs> oh, don't worry. They are also cheering for you. Hmm. Yeah, oh, probably man, not. I love parades. They're always kind of slow, though. Look how cool think? this is. Imagine if we had a few more horses under all those flowers. I mean, yeah, you want to get this thing to go hundreds of miles an hour? That would be terrifying, but also amazing. Fiesta de la Luna. Hashtag after party. <laughs> I hate that I just did that. I really do. I hate myself for doing that. Oh, now we're grooving. Buenos dias. Party's not over yet. What kind of Let's car is this? To its limits. We're going 130 miles an hour in a parade float. Let's see what this float can do. Oh hell! Our outpost awaits. Listen, I took two years of physics, and I don't see this one. Um, yes. I don't know. This float can move. I don't see this one going very well. but for some, the party keeps on going. This horizon parade float is fast. Almost as fast as the handsome young man at the fiesta last night who said hola. Oh, damn, and she's then down off. bad. She remembers me. She remembers me. Did you hear that? Air crew standing by. Everything is ready for your canyon jump. You know, one thing I've never no noticed are there no cops in this place? Like, they're just letting heathens run wild, running 150 miles an hour everywhere in a parade float? You can't drive something like this at Where's the law and order at, huh? Out on a danger zone. Let's do this. Here I am trying to jump thousands of feet, but also want a little bit of law and order. I don't make any sense. Like, who is letting this guy fly this close? That makes me more uncomfortable than going 150 in a parade float. What did I tell you, my friend? 
or Iceland brings it out in all of us. Good luck. Are we about to like jump off of something wild? Okay. Yeah, we are. I see the Here danger sign. Hit the danger Hold the sign. speed, baby. Everybody brace for impact. Best idea ever. Oh, no, it's not. Someone's going to die. And then you're gonna be you're gonna be in debt for your life because they're gonna sue your ass. Oh, we got a we got a a cock suit, a legendary cock suit. My friends in Yarrow would be proud. All right. I'm not sure if we'll be able to salvage the parade float. Totally worth it though. My God, that guy's a maniac. My plan is to make this the place for PR stunts. So, I'll get to work on the PR, and you get stunting. You get I've stunting. I've already built a load more PR stunts. Holy Which one do you want to try shit. Out first? Oh my god, that's so many. That's so much stuff. Holy shit. I thought all the road races was a lot, but this is like, this is... You got speed traps. You got jumps. Those are the ones that I'm going to be interested in. I want to go do a jump. So the thing with this car is it's a Porsche, and it is by far the fastest car that I've got to get my hands on in this game. And it's also electric. And we have drag tires on it. We have a maxed out speed and a maxed out launch uh, stat, which means we are going to be flying. We're soaring. Flying. 1600 feet we failed how the fuck did we fail hold up like what do we do to not crash like we just land like that there we go do personal best you're welcome just had to do it twice oh it's a train oh i finally found the train i've been looking for this thing come back come back can i catch up to it you think Well, the good news is we already have an upgrade available, which is per perfect. Oh, and right on cue, catch me if you can. Do battle, do battle with an unstoppable freight train. Oh, I got to race a freight train? Well, that's right on cue. We were just trying to do that in our free time anyway. So that works out. You that works out great. Showcase. I have the train and conductor on standby. All I need now is a driver. Is a driver. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I need to take the drag tires off of this because it is awful. And then after that, I will be ready to go. I just looked at the stats on this, and it has a 0 to 60 in 1.248 seconds and a 0 to 100 in 3.2 seconds with a top speed of 271.8. Are you kidding me? Okay, catch me if you can, Yin. <laughs> Let's enter the race. And hopefully, uh, in my master plan, this will give us enough adventure points and accolade points that we can move on with the next point in the story. Ideally, I would like to finish this entire subsection in this episode. But it's might, I might have to also do some grinding off camera as well before we get there. So we'll see. I don't, I don't know what all this is going to entail, but it's going to be wild. Oh my god, a Lamborghini Diablo. The Wolf of Wall Street Ludes car. Oh, my favorite scene in the entire movie. And this is the exact same car. If only it were white. Even no, though I like the pastel blue too. Okay. Watch out for this conductor. Oh, this is a con contact. I thought it was a Diablo. Excuse me. I just triggered some people. Some con contact. Sounds like something else that I can't say. I say fuck and I won't even say that. Oh, this baby's going to be cool. Ah, we're going to race a damn train. Let's go. We got planes, trains, automobiles. We're in the automobile. Uh oh. Oh, you're losing weight, so you're gonna get faster. That's not ideal. How am I gonna beat a train? My only my only hope is in the corners. I've never driven this car, so I don't know what all it has. I promise you, if I were in my all-electric Porsche, I would be smoking this thing right now. But I'm sure this car is very strategically uh, picked out for us, so it's a okay. Later, nerd. Now we gotta worry about the corner. We got a little loop de loop over here. We gotta worry about. Uh, I'm not sure 
if they're allowed to be dropping carriages, but who are you? Certainly going to give the engine an advantage. Oh yeah. We'll see about that. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to beat inverted, I guess. Am I right? But I promise you, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Oh, you're going through a tunnel. Every time I see that, I think of Family Guy. If you know, you know. All right, we're not running our best race here, but we're not running our worst either. Oh, look how cool this is. I don't know if this is exactly where I would want to be driving a classic like this. Oh, how sick. And now we got to take it off, bro. This is definitely not ideal. There we go. Get me back on the pavement where this baby thrives. We're not sprinting this thing. We're not beating this. We're not beating this. It gets to go in a straight line. Oh, it's going to slow down. Oh, maybe we're going to catch it. Maybe we're going to catch it because the game wants me to. Thank you, game, for allowing me to win. Hey, Michael. Got some adventure plans for you. Hi. Wouldn't you have time? Oh, we don't even need it. This will be the final one, the Juggernaut. An epic mega trailblazer across all of Mexico. Here we go with another 15-minute race. This is what we're doing. But this is an off-road one, which means if that's the case, we're taking the Warthog. I was chatting to this bloke who said one of the most famous movie cars in history is actually abandoned in a barn somewhere in Mexico. What do you reckon? One of the most famous like movie cars in history? Me. Like a DeLorean? Or whatever, I forget what car the Knight Rider was. Safe to do so. Something like that? Okay, I just wanted to jump off of this so bad, so that's what we're gonna do! Oh my god, my dummy, my dummy, my dummy, my dummy, my dummy, my dummy. Oh, my nuts. Oh, the juggernaut. Okay. You have arrived at your destination. I see our finish is off to the left, but we're going to use this momentum down this giant ass mountain. Rocks are flying everywhere. This Warthog's going top speed, baby. 150 miles an hour. Oh, 160? Do I hear 170? Oh, this is so cool. So we've got 300 seconds to make it about six miles. Which I'm trying to do the math in my head right now, and it doesn't seem like that should be too difficult to do, but this Warthog isn't going to be as fast as what we're used to. I mean, we're, we're, we're topping out at about 120 miles an hour on off-road, which is still... I mean, it's kind of scary and damn near impressive, but uh, it's not quite like the 180, 190 that we could hold on a lot of the straightaways with the Supra or, uh, or the Porsche. We also, since we're off-road, need to be cautious of this. This is cutting into our time. This is, this is what we need to be very cautious of, is we need to make sure that we don't hit obstacles that are going to slow us down. Did some jumps? Absolutely. Have some fun and go, wee! Absolutely. I almost sideswiped me. That was almost disastrous. Which I think at our at our pace that we're on right now, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too bad. But I don't know exactly what all it's gonna take us through. This kind of shit is so fun, though. Oh my god, I'm I'm taking I'm playing Russian roulette, and I lost. Oh, I bet on black when I should have bet on red. Okay, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving and grooving. We're a third of the way done, and we're well over a third of our distance done. So our pace is good right now. I'm not too worried about our pace, but who knows what biome we're going to run into next that may slow us down. I don't know. But it seems like in this race, it's just the rules. God damn it. I can't see those to avoid them. I don't know. I'm just I'm, I'm taking a shot in the dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rules be damned in this race. I got a warthog, and I do not care. It is point A to point B, however the hell you want to get there. And I'm sure I could have taken the road. I could have marked it on our map, but isn't this so much more fun and enjoyable? Especially doing this in a damn warthog. Oh, boy. They don't put that front end up. I'm trying to look at the foliage and see which ones have more uh, spread across them see which ones are the trees that we can and can't get through 
it kind of annoys me how many times we've hit the big trees. It's not really helping. So we got two miles left and 130 seconds, which means as long as we average over 60 miles an hour across this, we're going to be just fine. Just fine. I do like the variety in these, uh, I don't even know if you want to call them missions or, or what have you, but... Oh, man, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. You're telling me a warthog couldn't get through that? You're telling me a warthog couldn't get through that? Yeah, my ass. I don't believe you. I don't... Okay, man, I'm not used to these wide bodies. This warthog is too thick. I see a path over here to the right. It's just all about visibility. Dog, I'm not hitting that. I promise you I'm not hitting that. I did not run into that. Nope. This is slowing us down quite a bit, and I'm actually starting to get a little bit nervous. So let's focus up and let's get here on time. Here we go. I see a path. I see a path. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. 500 yards, 60 seconds. Oh, we're more than solid. Wait, but we have to get up on top over there, so we need to, we need to curl off to the left. Oh, man. Imagine if you were, were a little bit late to this. Oh, we are a little bit late. Everyone hang on. Skirt! And you thought you could just fly through a, a gate not having to do this little technical ramp to go up? Ow. Whee! You just blazed that trail. You, like, incinerated Yeah, we did, kind of. Could have gone faster, though. It. That was awesome! Take a second to appreciate it. All right, now saddle up again, because I reckon you can do it faster. Come on! Hey, Michael. Caught an editorial today. Horizon Hall of Fame shoe-in. I suspect Jamin rates it, but he makes some good arguments. How would the shoe-in feel about another Horizon adventure? <laughs> Thanks for the subtle hint, Haley. Okay, well, at least we're finally getting talks about the Hall of Fame. I mean, it, well, let's be honest. It's undeniable at this point that you're not going to let the magnificent man bun into the Hall of Fame with what we've been doing across Mexico. But if we got to give him more... Then, uh, then we gotta give him more. Did that complete? I have no idea. Wait, did that complete? Where was that even at? Oh, I see it. I see it over off yonder in the distance as the sun is setting. This one's got me nervous. My guess is gonna be a DeLorean. That's my guess. Let me know your guess in the comments right now before it pops. Don't be cheating. Oh, it's a Mustang. my God. Oh, talk about famous cars. This is the one from... Uh, what's that movie? Nicolas Cage. Uh, hang on, it'll come to me. Oh, my God. What is that movie? It's got Angelina Jolie with the dreads, and they're singing Low Rider. Oh, my God. And it, what is her name? It's like, it starts with like I'll a... I'll get to work on it. Oh, I'm no. Evelyn? I can remember the name of that film. What is her What is the name? Oh, it's, it's the gray and white Shelby Cobra with the white racing stripes. Oh, I can see it. I watched that movie so many times as a kid. Gone in 60 seconds with the... Uh, what was the car's name? Is it Eleanor? That's what's coming to my mind. I got to look it up. Gone in 60 seconds. Car name. Eleanor. That's what it was, and it wasn't gray and white, it was gray and black. I'll be honest, it's kind of worth me paying 50 grand to see what this car looks like because this is one of my favorite cars in movies, period. So, fastback. What a beast. is that supposed to be Eleanor? That is Eleanor. This thing tearing through city streets, bombing over hills. I've been racking my brain, and I just cannot remember the name of the film. That's definitely the car, but it's not the color. Maybe they couldn't make it the exact color. But I guarantee that I can make it into Eleanor. Oh my God, that thing is so sexy. We're making it into Eleanor. You know somebody has a paint job of it. 1967 Eleanor. Oh yeah. Holy shit. There she is in all her glory, Eleanor. Oh, that is so cool, man. Look how sexy this car is. I love how the, <laughs> so Eleanor has like a, a dual headlight beneath the grill of the car. And so <laughs> the maker of this decal just put a decal of headlights down below there. Not Because you there's nothing in the game that you can actually make the headlights. See, that's something that I wish that they would do is add customization options to make it where it's an identical replica to such an iconic car like that. But 
Unfortunately, that is about as close as we are going to get. My God, man. You want to talk about bringing me back to my childhood? That's the car right there. So now I've upgraded it performance-wise as fast as we can get. So let's go in this episode off by uh, maybe doing a little drag race with it, huh? Calculating route. Oh, <laughs> listen to that engine. It is such a different engine sound than any other car that we've yet to have in the game. It has that that deep bass, that guttural just rump, that oomph about it. Oh, dude, this game. It is so good. You have arrived at your look at the lighting on it. Everything just reflects off of it. It's so good, man. As we're hitting tires with it. Okay, now it's time to see if it really is as fast as the movie made it seem. Let's go. Drag race time. Your muscle cars versus my Eleanor. Let's see it. Oh, that's incredible. I need to change the, uh, the, the tire color on it to make it a little bit more shiny and chrome. But those are definitely the kind of wheels that it had on it. All right. Oh, this is just some classic muscle all surrounding us. Oh, wait, we're getting smoked. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on, Eleanor. You got that top in speed, baby. Later, nerds. Oh, my God. You got the Pontiac Firebird, the classic Firebird down there. No, 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 no. Come on, Eleanor. Hold him off, baby. Hold him off, baby. Hold him off. Oh my god, they're catching up, they're catching up, they're catching up, they're catching up, they're catching up. No, 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 no. I'm gonna cut this guy off. No, we came in second. We got beat at the last second. Eleanor, no! We finished fourth. Okay, well, pretty to look at. Not the fastest, apparently. I thought we had him. We had him in the first half, not gonna lie. But I guess in the second, they had that, uh, they had that top in speed, whereas Eleanor was just, was tapping out at about 400 horses or 140 mile per hour so if i wanted to make this a strictly drag car a strict drag car then i could probably improve its horsepower and straight line speed but i just did the basic upgrade to it the uh the the the, the auto upgrade so that's uh, that's what we got but damn she is pretty i she's almost too pretty to even go off of that ramp behind us one of my favorite looking cars ever something about it is just so damn cool okay so that, that's awesome. A barn find finally had something that I was uh, really looking forward to. So, all right, that's going to do it for this episode. We finished the Rush section, the Rush Rush Festival here in Horizon. And so now all we have left is, um, is the Wilds, the Baja, and the street scene. We'll probably straight the street scene for last because that's kind of way too similar to, like, the road racing. So, okay. It's either going to be Wilds or Baja, and my guess will probably be the Baja. So I'm going to need to make a car for that, and I'm also going to need to uh, get some unlocks ready for us so we can just fly through that as well. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Stay awesome, stay yourself, and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, peace out, YouTube.